Hey, Sparklighter here. Um, finally doing some of the work I like to do, making something out of nothing, um, namely welding. So here we go. This is my buddy's truck. Um, Trent, you guys remember him from, he gave me some hub parts. Well, this is how I repay. Um, Trent, what year is this truck? 1972. So we got a 72 Ford that originally came with no power steering see where the pitman arm is that's just a manual geared pitman arm goes right through the frame on the 72 yeah. on the 72 and then Trent pull what what uh, what year was this axle out of uh, 76 F250. so the axle came from a 76 f250 and he was able to keep this stock rod it's really the only way to get between the shock and do the steering correctly um, but the problem was there's not enough length in his pitman arm or in his drag link from his pitman arm to the steering arm so what we're doing is I'm making him a new rod it's extend, extended by 2.4 inches um, that piece that's in there ends up being two and an eighth inches and the gaps there are intentional for anybody who's ever put together done welding or whatever you know why um, you want to get a complete weld, especially on steering components, something that's critical. If that breaks, you're screwed. Um, I'm actually replacing one that I had already made for him. Uh, what happened to the last one was, well, it just started to get old. Um, Alright, there's the first one I made for him. It was kind of, it was a little bit more monkeyed together because I didn't have the right size round stock. So we did, this piece here comes from a larger piece of round stock than the rest of the rod, and that's what I ended up extending it with. This time he has pulled some extra drag links from the U-pullet, and you can see this is where I got my stock steel from, is we just cut the two inch section out of there I needed to scab into the other one, and of course cleaned up all the pieces, and that's what you see in there. but. That's what I'm on to right now, and we're about to do the tack in. Um, there's Trent. Say hi, Trent. Hi. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, we'll let you know how it turns out. All right, so we've got the tacks in on the drag link. Um, they're nice and heavy, just linking, completely linking the two center portions. I did one upper, and I took the bracket off and did the lower tack. Now, what you do is one solid root pass around that, and I'm going to stand this up on end to do that. So, as always, you run into a wrinkle during a project. Um, my wrinkle while doing this weld was I ran out of ER70S-6, which is your solid core wire. So, I had to do the swap over real quick because all I have left was flux core. Uh, E71T-GS just it differs on how they label it um, whatever the coding is for the brand maker um, this was 030 flux core and the only difference on the machine when you're doing that is you've got to change from electrode positive which is this other way to electrode negative so you just take off these two little nuts and swap the leads um, the good part about Miller is they always put the dummy guide. You gotta love dummy guides. Uh, the other good part I guess about flux core is you do get a deeper penetrating weld. Um, but I am well out of practice with this stuff. Um, it's not nearly as easy to get nice uniform welds. So obviously by that I'm needing some more practice with the flux core. All right, time to bolt up. Well, here we are. Um, there it is, full piece installed. It'll do the job. Last one survived. Yeah, I trust my welds. <laughs>